Hey friends, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can make your own paper tear transitions from scratch, just like the ones you saw in the intro to this video. I'm editing in Final Cut Pro, but it doesn't really matter what software you use because all these basic principles will be applied across the board. It's a super simple tutorial. Let's jump into it. Here in Final Cut Pro, I have these two images of a singer that I'm gonna to use to demonstrate this tutorial. This session is 1920 by 1080, so basically like an Instagram reel or a TikTok or something like that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is come to the very beginning of this first clip. Then I'm gonna skip forward six frames. So using my arrow keys, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. And then Command B is gonna make our first cut. And we're gonna do this another five times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, cut. So now that we've made our cuts along this first image, we're gonna import our paper tears. I'll leave a link in the description for the paper tears that I'm using. I'm gonna grab five of these tears. Next, I'm gonna hit E to import. And as you can see, all these tears are different sizes. So to make these tears the same size as the slices that we just made, I'm gonna highlight them all and then hit Control D and type in 0 0.6, that's six frames. Now they're the same size. So I'm gonna grab my tears and drag them down here on top of our slices. And as you can see, they match up perfectly. So let's have a look at these tears. As you can see, they are vertical and that's not what I want really for this tutorial. I mean, it could be, but it's just not what I wanna do right now for this tutorial. So I wanna change this up a little bit. I'm gonna make the tears horizontal. So I'm gonna come up here to my rotation and type in 90 degrees and hit enter. And I wanna make them a little bit bigger too. So I'm gonna type in 200% and that looks good for the sake of this tutorial. So because there are five tears, that means that there's gonna be five transitions throughout this image that we just cut up. This is where we're gonna to have to eyeball it just a little bit. There is no right or wrong way to do this. I'm just gonna guesstimate where I want these paper tears to be. So for this first one, I'm gonna start around here. That looks like it's about a fifth of the way through this image. That looks good, I'm gonna hit enter. Next, we wanna add a mask under this paper tear. So I'm gonna come down here to this first slice. I'm gonna call this our first slice, even though it's the second one in, because it's gonna be the first one where the masking tool is used. I'm gonna come over here to my effects browser and type in mask. Then I'm gonna drag and drop this draw mask on top of this clip. So as you can see here, it's prompting me to click to add a control point, which I will. I'm gonna add some control points just along this paper tear. Now you wanna spend more time than what I'm doing here to get it exactly right. This is just gonna be a rush job for the sake of the tutorial. And as you can see, when we complete this mask, it blacks out part of the image, which is exactly what we want. Next, we wanna add those same steps to the next paper tear. So I'm gonna come over here, click on our tear, type in 90 degrees and make it 200%. And then I'm gonna drag it down till I think it's about two fifths of the way through this image. So somewhere around there probably looks good. And I'm gonna change the orientation of this just ever so slightly, just so it's not exactly 90 degrees. I'm gonna just eyeball it again. I'm gonna drag it to something like 100, looks good. And click enter. Next, I wanna drag and drop my draw mask on the clip underneath this tear. So back over here to our effects tab, drag and drop. Then we can enter in our control points along here. And go up and over and complete that mask. So let's have a look at the, the very first frame, and then where the first rip comes in, and then the second one. You can really see what's starting to happen here. It's gonna reveal the image underneath. And you guessed it, the same steps apply to the next paper tear. Okay, so now that we've added our mask to each one of those slices, let's go back to the very beginning and have a look at what we have so far. Okay, perfect, except we don't want this image to be at the very end. We wanna delete this image. Instead, we want this second shot to be underneath our transitions. I'm gonna shorten this to about here. Now let's have a look at this from the very beginning. Perfect. That is the basic concept of how to add paper tears to your transition. What I like to do is make a compound clip of what we have. Hit okay. And then hit Command C and Command V to make a copy. And then I want to reverse this clip. So now it goes back on itself. Let's have a look. 
Now you can get as creative as you want with this very basic concept. If you go back and look at the examples I have at the beginning of this video, you'll notice that on each transition with the paper tears, the images are moving ever so slightly to kind of give it a stop motion effect. I also like to add some grain and a very quick color grade to give it a more pleasing look. So there you have it. That is the paper tear transition in a nutshell. If you found this tutorial helpful, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more tutorials like this in the future, and I'll see you in the next one.